I'm in shock. The PlayStation VR 2 app via Steam is being updated, and TP Link have come to the table with an update as well on their dongle. Honestly, I stand corrected. Just under a month ago, I posted my opinion on the PSVR to PC adapter and my concerns with regards to ongoing support for the product itself. Well, it turns out that via the Steam app, the PlayStation VR 2 Steam app has actually been updated for compatibility issues and stability issues overall. So I found this to be quite surprising for the simple fact being that it has an improved interface for easier setup for those that are just actually getting into the adapter itself and on top of that on the listing through steam as well this little sucker if you've purchased it yourself the ub500 tp link bluetooth adapter has had a hotfix uh, within the month also for compatibility issues with the sense controllers the major issue that i was having with the tp link ub500 bluetooth dongle was the fact that the left hand sense controller was actually dropping out during gameplay and one of them trip AAA titles being Half-Life Alex. So with that, that prompted me to purchase a Crux Tech Bluetooth dongle, which worked perfectly fine um, to mitigate the issue and for me to be able to get into some gaming. But ongoing with that compatibility issue of using another dongle, I was trying some other titles such as Rec Room, for example, and there were some slight dropouts, but at the same time, I think it really just comes down to the way that the apps are optimized through the Steam VR app, which can be mitigated by how the headset is detected on the PC overall. So there have been some apps that I have attempted to use such as the BBC Space Exploration app that crashes all together. The Anne Frank Experience app through Steam that does not load at all, for example. But overall, having updated the TP-Link dongle has mitigated 99% of the issues that I've been having overall to the point that I was able to continue my game of Half-Life Alex without any major issue whatsoever. The only issue now is that I'm in the process of tweaking to the best of my ability my 4070 Ti graphics card uh, in my PC and hoping that on any given day when I'm playing this, some whatever, whatever title I put in doesn't crash so it's purely just the nature of pc gaming alone you'll have dropouts here and there or your internet may be slow or whatever update to windows may correspond to any crashes that you may encounter driver issues from nvidia or amd may cause some dropouts as well you just don't know it's just going to be an ongoing issue with the headset compatibility alone with the pc so otherwise this is fantastic news so in closing i must admit my confidence has somewhat been restored with regards to Sony's ability to be able to provide us with a product that they clearly care about and they really want it to take off with the PC audience overall or for the, the PC family and I really hope it really does continue. This is a really good sign no doubt other manufacturers of Bluetooth dongles that may be having issues such as Asus might be able to step in and help mitigate some of the issues with the cheaper model Bluetooth dongles rather than people having to spend so much money on having like a PC PCI card, one of their PCI range Bluetooth slash Wi-Fi adapters helping to boost the signal overall for the Sense controllers, which may not be necessary overall. It could be just a compatibility in, in terms of the way it's all set up. So if you're on the fence with regards to getting the PC VR adapter, honestly, now I'm confident that it is a, a solid product. They're, sh they're definitely showing that they're willing to support the product overall with updates. So watch this space and hopefully the, the libraries of titles within the Steam environment does improve and we can all live happily ever after.